Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to take you through my October tray. I am going to transition a few of my fragrances from my September tray onto October because the weather is very similar um, and there hasn't been any dramatic changes to the weather where I live. We are experiencing a few cooler days so I will have just a variety of different fragrances that will be perfect for this time of year. All right, let's go ahead and get started. For those of you who are new to my channel, please consider subscribing if fragrances and fragrance reviews and just perfume hauls are something that you are interested in. I would appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that notification bell for any content that I have uploaded. All right, so the first one I'm going to go ahead and transition from my September tray to my October tray is a new favorite of mine and this is a Musk Noir for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. Um, it is warm, it is floral, it has a beautiful dry down. Um, it is very light and musky, but it's such a good blend of rose in a modern way. This is Musk Noir for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. The next one I have for you is Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Femme by Gucci. This is a woody fragrance that has patchouli and rose. It's a little fruity and sweet in the dry down. Love this for this time of year. This is Gucci Guilty Absolute Pour Femme. The next one I'm transitioning over to my October tray is going to be K. Alley Vanilla 28. This is an outstanding fragrance. This is just gorgeous. It's sweet. It's woody. It has a powdery dry down. It just brings cozy vibes. And there is a sex appeal about this. Um, and yet it can still be very casual in nature. Like I think of that alt leisure type um, wear that outfit, that kind of casual elegance um, when you're wearing K. Alley Vanilla 28. That's just the kind of vibes I get from it. You're going to feel secure, warm, and cozy, and it's perfect for this time of year. K. Alley Vanilla 28. One of my absolute favorites by Dolce Gabbana for this time of year and then I'm going to continue to transition onto my October tray is the one Dolce Gabbana. I love this fragrance at nighttime. I love this for bedtime. Um, this just gives a light, sweet, spicy, a little musky, and it does have vanilla in this as well. It's just perfect for this time of year. It is just one that is romantic. It's one that I like for um, nights in. It just gives me just that warm, cozy vibes that I want for this time of year. And you're going to probably hear that kind of repeated throughout. During this time of year, you know we are transitioning from those hotter months into the cooler months. And this is not going to be too heavy on the skin, but it is going to give you that warm, powdery sweetness. And it's a little soft and spicy and then dry down as well. Dolce Gabbana, the one. Also one that I love to use um, and it is new to my collection. I wanted to get more use out of this because there may be some times where I need a fragrance during the daytime. You tell me if I should continue to have Girl of Now Forever by Ellie Saab. Um, this is fruity and it is sweet. It's a little woody and it has some vanilla. But what I love about this is there is like a pistachio or almond um, in the base notes and it just leaves this warmth about it, this woodiness to this. 
and it's a lovely fragrance. I love this. I could see myself using this for um, brunch with the girls when it's a little crisp out, um, but not too cold. Um, you tell me if you like to use this for this time of year. I want to continue to carry it to my October tray, but I'm not sure if it just leans a little more late summer. I don't, um, I don't know. I think I want to give this a try for this time of year. Tell me what you think and if you've had good luck with it during the colder months. Girl of Now Forever by Ellie Saab. What I love about this time of year is I'm able to use some of my gourmand fragrances. They just seem to work better during the colder months for me. Um, this one here is Bon Bon by Victor and Rolf. This one definitely is prominent in the caramel. Um, it is sweet, it is woody, it is warm. It has a little bit of a powdery um, vibe to it, but definitely caramel and sweet. Not cloying, it's blended beautifully, and I love it for date night, I love it for daytime. This just is uplifting and I really enjoy it. And how is that not like the cutest bottle ever? Looks great on display as well. The next one I'm carrying over from my September tray is Vanilla Bourbon. And Vanilla Bourbon Eau de Parfum is by Mix Bar. This is number nine and um, it is an elegant fragrance. It's warm. Um, it gives you a little bit of that boozy vibe to it. It can be used by men or women, and it actually smells both really good on me and on my husband as well. Vanilla Bourbon by Mix Bar. All right, so the next one I have issues with the bottle. You know I'm a visual person, and so when the bottle doesn't quite look right, it's kind of hard for me to want to reach for it. I know that sounds crazy, because the juice is so beautiful. It is warm, it has a little bit of coconut, it's like tonic, and it is sweet. This one here is a Versace Crystal Noir. This is the Eau de Parfum version. I actually prefer this one over the Eau de Toilette. It just seems to last longer, has a little bit more depth to it. Um, but I'm sorry, I am not one to love this top this jewel type clumsy plastic looking top i don't know it's hard for me to look at but the bottle is gorgeous i would have rather them do something similar to like a top that looks like this one on the dolce gabbana fragrance but it is what it is um i do love the fragrance um so this one here will be on the october tray I am so excited to be using this fragrance. When I started my fragrance collection a couple years ago, this was one of the first ones that I got and I'm so excited I did. It was super popular in the YouTube community. What I love to do with this one, um, many people had talked about it not having the longevity that they want in a fragrance. So. If you happen to know the company called Rachel's Plan B, Rachel puts out a product called Body Butter, and she has one that is a vanilla scent. And I will put a card here so that you can check out her website. Her products are amazing. And this Body Butter is what I use to layer this fragrance here to get me more staying power from this fragrance because I, it's such an elegant fragrance. I love the cacao in here as a coffee note. It's vanillic, it's gourmand, it's sexy. This is definitely one for date night. This is definitely one to wear at night to bed. Um, and I love layering the body butter by Rachel's plan B vanilla scent with, a. Uh, here, Hugo Boss, the private accord um, by Hugo Boss. Um, I, this is, let me see. It's been a while since I've worn it. This is, this is just, it's sexy. It's beautiful. Men love it. You're going to get a lot of compliments from this. And this is the scent private accord by Hugo Boss. Make sure you layer it so you get that longer 
wearability from it. Next one I have on my, um, I'm excited to get use out of this. This one, um, I don't usually get to use it because of the patchouli. It's a little heavier in the patchouli. It's a little heavier in the woody aspects of this fragrance. This is C by Giorgio Armani, and this is gorgeous during the cooler months. I can't wait to get more use out of this. This is classic. This is signature scent. This is something that you can take from day to night, and it just brings an elegance to um, just the outfit, the look, the vibe that you're trying to create. And this is C by Giorgio Armani. So I'm giving this one another chance. And let me tell you, this one is just ugh, so frustrating. I have a love hate relationship with this one. I absolutely love the bottle, adore the color it is gorgeous to look at, but when you think about this fragrance, I don't know about you, but there is something in this, and I think it's the citrus note that throws it off for me. I love the sweetness. I love the vanilla and the white floral. I love the slight muskiness that I get from it. But when I put this on my skin, the citrus part of it just kind of throws off the creamy vibe that I want from it. And I don't know why they put that citrus note in there. Um, to me, it's conflicting. Um, you tell me what you think. This is Oriana by Parfums de Marley. I'm hoping that she works, because if not, I've got a full bottle that I need to end up selling, I guess. Okay. She looks too pretty. I'll probably just keep her just for the bottle. Um, but wish me luck. Tell me what you think. Comment below. Um, if you layer it with something else, I know I've tried that before and it has worked out, but tell me what you think. Um, I have layered this with um, my Born in Roma, Valentina Born in Roma uh, fragrance, and it actually worked out nicely. It kind of balanced out and kind of, just kind of uh, muted that citrus part of it. All right, I am so excited for this one because this one is a cost-effective, anyone could get their hands on but still smell very different from each other because it really does change within your own body chemistry this is a gourmand fragrance this viva la juicy gold couture this is straight up gourmand it's heavy on the caramel and the vanilla and it is sweet, it is warm. What I love in this one is the balsamic aspect to it. It gives a little bit of a cut into the sweetness and it allows it to blend beautifully and dry down a little woody and, and in the end. The finish is not too harsh, the finish is not too sweet, it's not cloying, and it is sexy, it is alluring, and this one will definitely bring you compliments. Love Viva La Juicy Gold Couture by Juicy Couture. All right, so the next one is another one that I have a love-hate relationship with. I think I love it better when my husband wears this. This is none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Now, I don't know why, but there is something in here that, and it might be the metallic part of it, but there's something in here that just doesn't sit right on my skin. It's a little headache inducing for me. And it doesn't matter how I spray it on my skin, how I layer it on my skin, there's just something about it that hasn't worked for me. Now, I haven't used it in the coldest of months because that I acquired it during the springtime. So let me know what you think. Tell me how this has worked for you. Give me any suggestions if you have another fragrance that you love to pair with this or maybe a body lotion or cream that would work to cut some of that metallic part of it because that really does stand out for me. On my husband, it tends to lean more woody and warm and spicy, but for me, there's just something a little off. So, Baccarat Rouge 540, I'm giving you a try for October. I uh, love, love, 
of mine. And I don't know if you are familiar with Alithia Marie um, from Canada. She has um, her own YouTube channel. Um, with her suggestions and Soaky London's suggestions, I knew that their review, I had to get myself a bottle of this. This is a Miss Dior Eau de Parfum, the 2017 version. This is a gorgeous, sophisticated, um, I would say more uh, mature in nature, something that's going to, and I say mature, and yet those, those gals are, are younger and they absolutely love it. But I think when I think of this fragrance, you would have to love patchouli um, in order to find pleasure in this fragrance. And if you don't love patchouli as much as I do when it's done right, um, you may need to go lighter on the spray because it can be a little bit heavier, which is why I think it works perfectly for this time of year. But this is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum 2017. So excited to get to use that one. It's so beautiful. It's long wearing, lots of compliments. My husband loves it. It is just a gorgeous fragrance. All right. Wrapping up, I've got a few more fragrances. I don't know where they're going to fit, but hopefully I can get them on my tray. Here I have a classic, a staple, an anyone's fragrance collection. This is a must have. This is Mon Guerlain. This is the EDT version. It's gorgeous, it's long wearing, it's classic, and Guerlain fragrances are just high quality. What I love about this is the lavender and vanilla blend. This has a little bit of a sparkly aspect, an effervescence to it that leaves a mood changing experience when you put it on. And I absolutely love this to bring me calm. Put this on and it brings comfort to me. It is gorgeous, it is beautiful, and I really love that it is sweet yet spicy woody yet aromatic um, beautiful job by Guerlain Mon Guerlain this is the EDT version have to have this beautiful baby and this collection this is one that I get a ton of compliments on no matter when I use it I have carried this in the springtime I have worn it during the daytime and evening time when it has this breezy kind of day or night to um, the weather. This here is La Belle by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, she is just sweet and powdery. She has an earthy aspect to it and she is fruity, she's sweet, and the vanilla in here just gives you this creamy, just vibe. I just love the color. The bottle is gorgeous and it makes me feel so good when I wear it. Like I said, always compliments when I get this, when I wear this fragrance. This is date night worthy. Um, she can carry you through any experience and will bring you a lot of joy. All right. And the last one that I have is new to my collection. As you know, I am a fan of Lancome fragrances. I had a couple on my last tray and one that I have used over and over again, La Nuit Tresor Nude. Well, this one here is the one that everybody says that you need in your collection for this time of year. And I have gotten it. It was a birthday present uh, from my family. <clears throat> This is La Oui Tresor à la Folle. This is vanilla, amber, sweet and fruity. It has a little bit of a floral, powdery note to it. And this just speaks cozy vibes. This is elegance, this is feminine, this is date night worthy. This is mood shifting and mood lifting. La Nuit Tresor à la Folle is also sexy and alluring. And I am so happy to finish my tray with this one. Now, 
as you can see my tray is full so this one is going to actually sit on my nightstand where I have a rotation tray for the evenings so this wraps up my October tray I hope you found these perfumes interesting or maybe they piqued an interest for you if you have any questions for me please comment below and I'd be glad to help you through making some choices if you have some interest in them or just share with me which ones you would like me to try and review for you or lastly if you have one that I have not tried or mentioned in my collection that you think I need to get a hold of all right everyone thank you so much for joining me and with that peace and love to you with love anything is possible don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you back here in the next one